Hello everyone, Grandpa the Nerd here, and welcome to another movie review right here on my channel. Now, as you all know, you could tell by the crappy quality and the fan and all the fan. The, I can't even get it right. Ah, the fan. I'm not a professional critic. If I was, I'd probably have some kind of studio behind me to do all these special effects, and it would be in 4K, and I'd have green screens going everywhere, and I'd have probably people from the movie on here. It would be like spectacular and fireworks, but no, I'm just a little dude. I'm just a 52, well, I'll be 52 in a couple days. I'm just a 52-year-old man who does this all on his own. Um, Nobody backing me. Nobody giving me any money. No, I don't want any money. Um, Anyway... Um, I didn't go to, I didn't go to, first and foremost, for anybody who's new, I didn't go to school. Okay, I went to school. I didn't go to college. I don't have a degree in being a movie critic, okay? So, I don't know, I don't think anybody should go to school and pay big bucks so they can tell you what you will like and what you don't like, because only you will know. So, my goal on these reviews is to pique your interest enough where you'll go see it, or you'll stream it, or whatever the reasoning is. But if I do it, I want you to see it. There may be times where someone asks me to review something, and I may be honest. That's why you don't take money. You take money, you know, they, they're paying for something. If they just say, hey, review this film, and you do it, and you don't like it, and you're honest, what are they going to do? Well, I can't believe you said that. Well, I didn't like your movie. No, so, but my point here is, I just want to pique your interest. I want you to make a judgment call on your own. I want you to go see it, and I want you to decide if it's any good. So what do I have for you this time? Well, I have a release from 2022 called Whispers in the Wheat. Now, it is directed by Alex Chambers. Okay? I'm a cheat sheet. Alzheimer's. i not good with names. I remember the movie, but I don't remember the characters' names and anything like that. Um, so it was written by Alex Chambers and Connor Boyd. Based on a story by Rowan McCabe. Now, this film is out of Canada. So, we know it's a very friendly film. I know, I know. Stereotype. Hey, if I offended any Canadians, well then, you just have to get over it. Um, but yes, it's called Whispers in the Wheat. Now, here's a few of the actors and actresses. Uh, Brandon Wheeler plays uh, Andrew. You've got Joey McGuire. You've got Rebecca Schmautz, who... I'm going to say this in the most respectful way I can... She is very, very beautiful. Uh, Corey Raidmaker is Thomas. And, you know, that's a handful of them. Um, so, what is this movie about, you may say? Well, before I get into what this movie is about, let me explain a few things. I always like to get technical first. Technical. The film is shot beautifully. Um... I, I'm not a movie critic. I'm not in the movie business. Cinematography, lighting, all that stuff's like way above my pay grade in my head. But this movie looked good. I didn't have any problems seeing it. Like I've said before in other reviews, I wasn't squinting. Eh, I can't see nothing. It was lit well. It looked great. I didn't have any problems with it visually. Uh, Audio-wise, I had no problems there either. I could hear it. It was perfect. Um, the acting... Top notch. These people were on their game when they made this film. Awesome film. And so, so I did, I did that. The, act, the music is great. There's actually two songs in the movie um, that I like that I'm hoping I can get my hands on. So maybe I could play it on Grandpa's playlist or Grandpa's music sideshow or just to put on a playlist. Now, I did reach out to see if I could get some MP3s, and I know what you're saying. Why are you trying to scam free stuff? Well, there's nothing wrong with trying to scam free stuff. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm also willing to, you know, buy it on, you know, Amazon Music or something. No iTunes. I don't do iTunes anymore. But, you know, I'm willing to pay for it. I'm just saying, if, if I can get it handed to me, a little... Ain't nothing wrong with that. There's people out there who make do movie reviews just so they can have free copies of movies. People who do video game reviews so they can get free copies of video games. I don't ask for free copies, you know... I was given these movies to watch. They not I don't own them. They're not on a shelf. And the ones that I did for like Ken, they're on my shelf. I bought them first, then I did my review. So I'm not out for freebies. So let me get that out there for. I'm not out for freebies. I'll take them. Oh yeah, I'll take them. But I'm not asking for them. So anyway, 
everything about this movie visually and audio wise, it just looks great. Okay. Now it's an awesome story. Uh, it's about a guy who doesn't know his father because circumstances took him away. I'm not going to tell you anything because it's all about piquing your interest, not just holding your hand and taking you through it. But his father uh, is taken from him and he doesn't know him. Comes across a journal and uh, he finds something in there and he feels that he could get close to his dad and kind of bond with him if he goes and looks for this thing. But he's not the only one looking for it. There's somebody else out there, real bad dude. He's looking for it too. And that's when the story starts to really build, when he leaves uh, his home and goes out to this farm to try to find what his dad left behind. And it's a good story. I really liked it. It's not, and this is a drama. You know, this isn't a horror movie or it's a, it's just, it's a good solid drama. And I'm not that big on dramas. I'm going to be flat and honest with you guys. You know, I like the action, the horror, the scary. Um, some dramas just don't do it for me. But this one was extremely well put together. And I really enjoyed it. The actors, like I said, they did a wonderful job. I did. No one was overacting. No one was underacting. You know, it water. It you know it teared me up in a few posi a few in, in some of the parts. It was just it was a good, good movie. Um, I recommend if you can find it, you find it. You know, go on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description for the trailer. Um, but you need to see this movie. It it they did a wonderful wonderful job. And at the beginning of the film, he's in a bar doing some doing some stuff. You'll see what he was doing. But uh, there should be a picture popping up here of one of the one of the actors in there, um, or one of the extras, I should say. And uh, this gentleman is like, he's a crazy bastard. And but from what I understand, he's a robot or a per he's an impersonating account on Facebook. So you know you gotta watch you gotta watch it. He's not a I don't think he's real. He's probably AI, but he's a crazy bastard. His picture was up there. Thank you, sir. You're a good friend. Um, he was also the stunt coordinator. And there's some good fights in this movie. Oof. Awesome. Especially at the end. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I'm getting out of hand here. But you need to see this film. Like I said, it's a great drama. It follows a young man trying just, just trying to just trying to bond with his dad. Just trying to, you know, I don't know what it's like. You know, I had a father growing up. A lot of us did. So I don't know. I can't relate. But it was sad. It was sad. Um, a lot of uh, uh, effort, I could tell. Like I said, like I've said before, independent films are the way I go. Like I've said before, if you have to, if you struggle to put your movie together, then you've won me over already. I can nitpick it all day long, but you still won me over because you, nothing was handed to you, and that means this movie was done from the heart, and I like that. The little the. The more successful the film is, visually and acting-wise and everything, and the smaller the budget is, the, the more I like it. And don't get me wrong, like I said, I love blockbuster movies. I own a shit ton of them. You know, I got, you know, posters behind me from, you know, It. I got Star Wars in the other room. I'm a freaking huge Star Wars fanatic. So, yeah, I, I like blockbuster films. Duh. Who doesn't? But I do like independent films because I like to... It's called Humble Beginnings in my mind. If any of these people's movies that I watch make it big one day, I can be, oh yeah, you know, instead of the people who just watch big movies. Hey, I've never heard of this director. It's because you don't watch independent films. Just saying. Think. So anyway, Whispers in the Wheat. Really good movie. Great, great ending. Now I will say, here's my nitpick. I kind of wish they had held my hand through it. The ending was a little confusing to me. But I don't know if it's my age or my brain, but I kind of, it, it was one of those, like the Sopranos going black. You're like, wait a minute, what did I just see? So maybe I should watch the movie again. I don't own it, but I have access to it, unless you stop sharing it with me. I'll probably watch it again and really focus. The first time I watched it was to do the review. So maybe I'll focus on it. Maybe I missed something. But it was, you know, I'm slow. But it was a it it was good, and I really think you should see it. It's called Whispers in the Wheat. Like I said, I'll probably if I, if I remember if I remember I'll put the I'll put the link in the trailer, and you guys can see the trailer. But it's a great movie. It's a great movie, and like I said, it's 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 it you know it's from Canada, so can't be you know 
How many good movies and TV shows and actors and actresses have you seen come from Canada? So many. So there you go. It's a good movie. Um, and like I said, independent. So you you, you got to give it a try. So check out Whispers in the Wheat. I gave you some actors. I gave you some stuff. And I showed you the stuntman. And the stuntman, like I said, crazy bastard. But uh, you need to see this movie. I would highly recommend it. And if anybody out there who knows me, trust me, you can, you'll like it. It's not one of the cheese fest movies that I gush over, you know, like guinea pigs or anything like that. But it it it's still a good movie. It's a good drama. It's a good story, um, with great acting. And I, you know, I don't have a thesaurus, so I don't know what other words to use. Um, it's just spectacular. I thought it was, <coughs> pardon me. I thought it was really good. I'm I'm gonna have to go back and look and see if this uh, gentleman has done any other movies because they'd be worth seeing. And if he does any movies in the future, if he throw something my way, like I said, I'm not asking for freebies. You know, just a link to watch it is all I need. Um, I watch your movie. Um, this is the kind of movie that there's other directors out there that. I saw their movie one time, and I'm a big fan. And any movie that they release between now and the day I kick it, I'm definitely going to watch them. And this is a director I can add to that list. Um, he did a he did a really good job. It was a, it, the movie. I'm going through an emotional time right now for due to a medical diagnosis. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but it really it really put me. You know, it I I felt pain. You know, watching this. You know, this from the character's point of view. I'm not saying that the movie. You know, it was ah, it's terrible. The 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 story was so touching to me that you know I, I liked it. I really did. So guys, check out Whispers in the Wheat. And if you don't like it, you can send me hate mail. If you do like it, then you can watch more reviews when I do them. Stuff has been slowed down a little bit because of my uh, medical condition, and I'm trying to do a lot of things. But I'm going to do more. Trust me, I'll do more. I just don't want to let anybody down, you know, and like tell them I'm going to do something and it takes me forever. Like with this one and the review I did earlier, it took me a little while to do them and I feel bad as hell that it took me so long. But, you know, I just, this Alzheimer's thing has really got to me. So go see Whispers in the Wheat. Find it somehow. And, or buy it. I don't know if it's out on DVD or anything, but you can, but you really need to see it. You need to try and find it. Um, I can't give it to you because I don't have a copy. I, like I said, he shared it with me and, you know, so I can't like, I can't give it to you. Just can't. You'll have to find, you'll have to find it. So hopefully you do. But anyway, uh, if you have any complaints or anything that you want to say, or if you want to reach out to me, because you want me to do a review of your movie, which is probably very slim, because I don't know how many people actually watch me. I'm just, you know, just an average, ordinary guy. Thank you, Joe Walsh. Anyway, you can reach me at Grandpa the Nerd at rabbitandredradio.com. If my skills are good enough, I'll splatter it down at the bottom. Um, but yeah, it's Grandpa the Nerd at rabbitandredradio.com. And you can get a hold of me that way and say, hey. Or you can message me down below and say, hey, if you've got something you want me to review, I'll review a movie. You got music you want me to review? I'll review your music. I might put it on Grandpa's playlist if you like. Um, but you can reach out to me and, you know, I'll review anything. Y you want me to review a candy bar? I'll review it. So just like I said, hit me up and let me know. So that being said, Whispers in the Wheat. Awesome movie. Awesome movie. Um... If it hasn't won any awards anywhere, it should. It should. And with that, Grandpa the Nerd loves each and every one of you. Watch Whispers in the Wheat because I want to, I want to burn it into your skull. Whispers in the Wheat. And uh, I'll see you next time. Rock on, people. Rock on.